is surrounded by woodlands. Beautiful setting. And wonderful that Finland have stepped in to host the Sudaman Cup given the global pandemic. Well, Korea assured of the victory, as you can see, three love up against the number four seeds, Chinese Taipei. Next up is women's doubles, and it's a very surprise selection uh, because uh, for the Korean pair, uh, they've split their top two pairs, Kong Hee Yong and Lee So Hee are uh, up against Chung Chen Kui and Lee Cho Chen. So here come the pair from Chinese Taipei, Chung Ching Hui and Li Jia Chen. And this pair, a brand new partnership, but I believe they're entered into the Denmark Open and French Open, which will be played those two events in October. So the Koreans have split their top two pairs. Their top two pairs, of course, did battle against each other for the bronze medal in Tokyo. Uh, so we have Kong Hee Yong and Lee So Hee teamed up together. They were on opposite sides of the net in that bronze medal match in Tokyo. And for the record, it was Kong Hee Yong and her partner Kim So Young that won the bronze medal, beating Lee So Hee and Shin Sung Chan in two games of fairly convincing games 21 10, 21 17. This obviously the first meeting between the two pairs because both of them brand new partnerships in international badminton. But rest assured, I know that the Korean squad. They mix the partnerships up constantly in training. So they will have played many times together, but not on the international court. Lee So Hee and her partner Kong Hee Yong. Yes. Now this is Lee Cho Chen, who is the younger sister of the Olympic men's doubles champion. Li Yang. Well, let's look first of all at Chung Ching Hui. And she's 25 years of age, uh, born in the port city of Keelung, which is just near Taipei. 165, that's about 5 foot 5. And she's been in two international women's doubles tournament finals with two different partners. So we know she's versatile, which makes me suspect that she will form a very good partnership with this lady, Li Chu Chen. 23 years of age, born in Taipei. And just a fraction shorter than her partner. That's about five foot four. So I believe this is their first ever international match together. Not selected for either of the previous group matches against Tahiti or Germany. Xu Ya Ching and Hu Ling Feng were selected for both of those previous group matches. And indeed won both of those previous group matches. So to their opponents, Kong Hee Yong and Lee So Hee. This is Kong Hee Yong, 24 years of age from Daejeon in the central region of South Korea. 166, five foot five and a half. Now she is has been as high as four with Kim So Young, so they're currently number five, whereas her 
partner, Lee So He is the current world number four with her normal partner, Shin Seung Chan, but has been as high as two, as you can see with Chang Ye Na. Now, lovely new haircut for Lee So He, both Morton Knight. Didn't recognise her when we looked at the adjoining court earlier on in the tournament. She looks absolutely lovely. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Chinese Taipei, represented by Chang Chin Kui, and Lee Chi Chan. David Evans, our umpire. On my left, Korea, represented by Kong Hee Yong and Lee So Hee. Goodness, Korea must be the rest. From Latvia, our service Hi. judge. So there's new partnerships on both sides of the net. It's a very, very good rally. Good pace. One, yeah. Four. Gosh, she looks like her brother, doesn't she? <laughs> she does. back in Beijing, 2008. I know we've only seen five points, but I'm actually pleasantly surprised with the Chinese Taipei pair performance. They um, they got good technique, they got good pace, and uh, I think it's an interesting pair. Yeah. Well, I've seen the Chiu Chin before playing with Chen Chi Ya. They reached the semi-final of the US Open back in 2019, which is a Super 300 event, yes. and I took notice of her there. Not that I was at the event, I watched it on television. <laughs> yeah, we can't go and see all the, all the tournaments, though, even though we do travel quite a lot, as and when we are allowed. Good change of pace. Lovely from 
Chan Ching Hui. Oh, that's brilliant. What a shot. Yeah, but what a mistake from Lee going cross court right into the forehand of her opponent. Oh, that's a good angle. That's fabulous, isn't it? You know, before this match started, I wondered about this Korean pair because within their normal partnerships, yes. I see these two Koreans as the worker from the back of the court. Yes. And I wondered who was going to be commanding the front court position. Yeah. And and I still have, I'm none the wiser. No, 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 not yet. We, we will see. And of course, they have to play a, a few more matches against other pairs as well. Um, but um, I, I've obviously not looked at the um, the draws in the in the Denmark Open and the French Open yet. But you said that this pair is entered into those two tournaments. The Chinese Taipei pair, not the Korean pair. They're uh, in their okay. normal partnerships. Uh, so. Okay. Yes. Okay. But I think this has come about. My theory is we haven't seen Chia Yu Jung in the mixed doubles. She's supposed to be here. Not that I've seen her, but no. we're not staying at the players' hotel. The players no. must be kept separate uh, from the rest of us to protect them all. Uh, I think she must be injured because I they, think she's injured, yes. they've been playing different players in the mixed doubles. Yeah, with, all through the tournament. All through the tournament so far. Yes. So I think rather than playing anybody twice, they've said to themselves, OK, well, we'll mix up the women's doubles pair. Yeah. One from each of the two top top pairs but it will be so much career if they suddenly swap the two top doubles they have and they say okay you play the next 12 months and let's see how it goes yeah I I've seen that so often I'm not sure they'll do that this time no. when you think of the success that the top Korean pairs have had against the reigning world champions yes. Mayu Matsumoto yeah. and Wakana Nagahara they're playing well against yeah. the Japanese pairs. Absolutely. In fact, it was Kong and her regular partner, Kim, Kim, who beat the world champions in Tokyo. Yeah. Quarter-final stage, if I remember correctly. So, it's a handsome lead. It's a six-point advantage for this scratch Korean pairing. And considering that they were 2-4 down, 9 of the last 10 points. Eleven, five. 
Oh, that's... Oh! oh my goodness. But that interception was good. The first one? Yeah, the first one by <laughs> Lee so he. Yeah. And what a nice miss. We've seen a few of those. We have, actually. Good smash straight down the line. I know you'll like that one. I do. I do. Yeah. I like the whole idea about it. It's because for so many years, women's doubles have been playing it too safe down the centre and they need to develop more. And I like to see these straight smashes as well. And especially the Korean pairs have been going too safe down the centre in their attacks. Oh, broken string. Yeah. Yeah, that didn't sound right. I two players with two. broken <laughs> strings. Yes. Kong Hee Yong and Chung Chung Wei. Well, I don't think we've ever seen players on the opposite side of the net both run off at the same time <laughs> no. to change the racket. We could have a singles. <laughs> <laughs> That's still to happen. Huh? That's still to come. Yeah. I like that one. But there, I think there is a strong indication of the fact that the stadium is low. Mm. Because they really, really hit it hard on, on that punch clear as well. And it was nowhere near going out. Mm. And she put all her efforts into it. agree with you. I like that punch clear as well. Oh, that's a super smash as well from Lee Sohee. 14, 7. She was trying to go for the angle, was Chung Ching Hui. Rallies have been killed from the front of the court by the Kroon so far in the match. Not many. No. no. So my my thought process when I saw this match up, and my concern, I suppose, in a way, that they're both excellent women's doubles players, but neither of them is really feeling comfortable hunting the shuttle at the front of the court. Lucky for Kong Hee Yong.
Yeah. Nice variation from the back of the court from yeah. Lee Sohee. It's interesting because normally she's not playing with that same kind of angles to her shots. Uh, she's usually playing it a lot, lot more safe. And, and I really like what I'm seeing, that she's be becoming more adventurous from the back. We've had one finished off on the net. Well, that was Lee So He. Dispatched with efficiency. Game point opportunities. Opening game 21 9 in favour of the scratch pairing from. Korea, Kong Hee Yong and Lee So Hee. Just 16 minutes for game number one. Oh gosh, did you see that? Not much from the coach. <laughs> yes, but she's done that on, on many other occasions as mm. well. It's very short, very efficient. Yeah. agree with you Jill that uh, the Chinese Taipei pair needs to bring in the game around the net mm. if they are going to stand the chance of uh, doing anything in this match have to play soft shots block shots net shots in order to have a chance because that's not where the Korean pair is having their forte. No. Once the Korean pair got going in that opening game, they really were totally dominant. Nine of ten straight points from 2-4 down to lead 11-5 at mid-game interval. And they just built from there until 21-9 opening game. Now what can the pair from Chinese Taipei do here in the second? a very good rally good interception by Lee yeah beautiful interception from Lee Church in oh, great flick serve yeah Waiting for the 
reply to. Yeah, that's in. That's a good return, isn't it? Yeah, that's the kind of return I, I really, I'm in favour of as well because so much is focused around that front court and the interception of the serving player and all that. If you, as as the returning player, just push it into those deep corners, you put yourself in a very good position and you give no chance for interception from your opponent. I remember you talking about that in the men's doubles when Denmark was playing. Yes, and that was even sometimes if their opponents were serving too well, even pushing it upwards towards the two deep corners. Yeah. And that was in, in I think it was Indonesia. That's correct. They played, and they played Gideon and Sukumulya. Mass calling for the second. Great shot. Yeah, lovely play from Chan Ching Kui. And that's where it's a problem that they don't have somebody really hunting the shuttle at the front of the court, the Koreans. Yeah, someone to intercept a yeah. shot like that. Well worked. That's a lovely play from Li Cho Chen. with the Koreans who was going to defend straight had to be consultation there yeah she was trying to step into the defense I think she must have had her eye on her opponent rather than on the shuttle as so many times during that rally Chang was trying to get into it somehow yeah. but it was her partner Lee who was playing all the shots and then eventually when it came to her she missed it yeah oh yes that's a very good return of serve from Chan Ching Kui <laughs> so agree on that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice block shot. Yeah, slight confusion at the centre of the court. Who to take that one in defence? personal opinion I think Lee should have stepped one step forward and cover that centre on the cross on the cross yes oh, 
Oh, just snatched at that a le little, I think, over anxious to try and play the winner. There, the hand signal, letting her partner know where she's going to serve to. Rally. Oh, that's brilliant. What a super shot from Lee Chiu Chen. Uh, the string broken. Yeah, she did well to control it then, didn't she? Yeah. many years have we been trying to work out the, the signals that uh, the players are doing behind their back I and, know. and there's no consistency to it no and I think it's like the NFL I think they change the signals and the meaning of the signals the whole time so that people can't work it out <laughs> probably <laughs> <laughs> probably by sheer power. interesting because I, I think there's potential here for this pair from Chinese Taipei. Yeah. We haven't had uh, a really outstanding pair from Chinese Taipei since the world number ones Chen Wen-sing and Chen yu Qian. Yeah, when was that? About 10 years ago? Yeah, I think they were medalists at the World Championships in Paris 2010. Okay. I'm not sure they were medalists, actually. I think one of them won a mixed doubles bronze. Yeah, that was Chen Ming Sen. No, it wasn't. It was the other. It was. Was it the other one? Chen Yu Chen. Okay. With Li Xing Mu. Oh yes, that's well taken. Yeah. So he, yeah, nice interception. Very nice interception. So three point advantage at the mid game interval.
So a three-point advantage to the Korean pair, having already won the first. Yeah, that's a lovely change of pace. I like that from Chen Ching Hui. Just to clarify that about the former world number ones from Chinese Taipei in the women's doubles, Chen Wenxing and Chen Yu Chin, they did indeed win a bronze medal in Paris in 2010, and it was Li Sheng Mu and Chen Yu Chin who won the mixed doubles bronze. Okay. A double bronze medalist in the same year. But Chen Wen Chen. Chen Yu Chin. Yeah, but her partner in the doubles. Didn't she win a bronze at one stage as well with the uh, Chen Hongli? Maybe I'm wrong. I think they won a bronze at the Asian Games, not World Championships. Okay. Okay. Leave it, rest it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's, uh, this pair from Chinese Taipei, they've got a nice attack. I hope to see more of them. Yeah, so do I. Oh, service error, that's a pity. be important for the category of women's doubles to have more nationalities in sort of top of the world because it's very much dominated by Korea, Japan, China. Of course, there's one pair from Indonesia, but yeah, that the three nations are, are really dominating the women's doubles of today, and it would be great to have more different nations into that top somehow. Absolutely. That's a lot of drop. And it's all out of tack. They've managed to change it round now with the block and move forward from Lee So He. Uh, 
Now it's clever placement of the smash. Great, yeah. great defensive shot from... Really good. And not only that, did you see how she followed through straight yeah. away, followed up on that beautiful shot she could see. It's passing the front player. There's a gap there in closing the net down. Yeah, that was Chun Chun Wei. It was. Very good play. Yes. Unlucky, it's gone just long. Oh, that's well read. Now I like that, the smash straight down the line from Chen Chen Kui and Li Chia Chen absolutely waiting for that straight reply, intercepting nicely and making the difference. There's kind of a weakness on Shang's defence, I think. We've seen on a number of occasions that she's actually missed with these drives. So it's an area where she needs to go back in training and work on it. Yeah, she did well there, though. She did. Very, very respectable score here in the uh, in the second game so far. Yeah, and there's been good rallies, and yes. they've commanded the rallies. They've got themselves on the attack, and they've really worked for it. Nice placement. Four match point opportunities for the Korean pair of Kong and Lee. And that's it. The error on the smash from Lee Cho Chin and the match to the scratch Korean pairing of Kong Hee uh, Yong Kong and Lee So Hee. 21-9, yeah. 21-16 in a match lasting 38 minutes. But a good fight in that second game by the pair from Chinese Taipei. But in the end, the Koreans just too strong for them. And two straight games for the victory. And that means that Korea has a four-love lead in the tie. Of course, we do play all five matches in the group stage, not from tomorrow onwards when it's quarter-final stage. This is the match point opportunity. The first of four if needed. But they won the match on the first of those opportunities. A grimace from Kong Hee Yong. So just the mixed doubles to come in this Group B decider.
So just one more match to come in this Group B decider. Well, it's already been decided because Korea are four love up. Uh, but we will play the fifth and final match, the mixed doubles. Um, for Chinese Taipei, it's Yang Po Suan and Hu Ling Fang up against another scratch pairing from Korea. Suo Xiang Jae playing with Xin Xiang Chan. 